and today I'm here with my August favorites for 2018. I'm actually filming this um, with one week of September left because school has been kicking my butt so I've just been super behind on filming videos so finally getting to it now. I actually have to go to work in about an hour so we're kicking these uh, videos out. Hopefully we get everything done that I want to get done today. Anyways, without further ado, let us get started. So the first couple of things I'm going to talk about are experiences. The first experience being I got to go see Taylor Swift in concert. I saw her in her red tour. I was supposed to see her during the 1989 tour, but I was playing basketball for university at the time, so I didn't get to go because we had a tournament the same weekend. Finally got to go see her again in concert. She was absolutely incredible. I cried multiple times because because I cry when I'm happy, okay? Leave me alone. I ended up picking up a long sleeve shirt to like commemorate the experience. So it's the one with her face on it and then it has all the tour locations on the side. And then it says Taylor Swift Reputation Stadium Tour on the back. I've yet to wear it yet, so no idea if it fits me or not, but I just wanted something to say that I was at the concert. We picked ourselves up a little shirty shirt. It was honestly one of the best concerts that I've ever seen. She just gets better and better in concert, in my opinion. I mean, I have only been to two, but this one was so much better than the Red Tour. The next experience I want to talk about is going to the Butterfly Conservatory with my mom. There's something called the Royal Botanical Gardens in Niagara, and they have a Butterfly Conservatory, which is basically this giant-ass building where they breed butterflies to try to like bring the species back and all that jazz so you can go in and butterflies are just literally flying everywhere and it is so peaceful and I'm just obsessed with it every time I go I always try to get butterflies to land on my nose so here's some pictures of you know that happening because I'm obsessed with butterflies and I just think they're so pretty I could honestly spend hours in that place. I just find it so peaceful and relaxing. And we usually do spend like two to three hours every time we go there just chilling with the butterflies and watching them flit around. It's great. It's a good time. So if you guys are ever in Niagara Falls, highly recommend y'all check out the Butterfly Conservatory because it's great. The final experience I want to talk about is the Frenzy Presents event that occurred in Toronto this year. Basically, they give you an overview of all the fall releases that they're going to have. So I got the chance to go to that and it was so much fun. I was extremely nervous for it just because I didn't know anybody going, but I ended up meeting Julia and Natasha and Zoe who are so sweet. I love them. It was just a lot of fun experiencing a big publishing event that I never thought I'd get the chance to do. So it was really awesome and everybody at Frenzy is just so sweet and nice. It was a good time. I have a vlog of the whole thing that I put up a while ago so if you want to check out what happened that day then you can check that out. I was gonna hold this up to you know symbolize the Frenzy event because we got cute little notebooks. I use it as my diary so that's why there's like a bookmark in it so I can just flip to the page that I'm writing on but this was supposed to symbolize the event but it was a lot of fun and I had a grand old time. Next I'll talk about some clothing items that I'm obsessed with. I don't know if you guys actually know this, I'm assuming you do, but I get most of my books from thrift stores so when I go to the thrift store I've recently started actually looking through the clothes because I would usually just go to the book section but I've become obsessed with thrifting and I picked up two things this month but one of the things that I picked up that I'm in love with is this super adorable corgi t-shirt. I don't know if you guys also know this but I am obsessed with corgis. They're my favorite dogs and I want one so badly. I think they're the cutest things ever and I saw this shirt. It was only two dollars and your girl needed it in her life and I wear it so often. I just I think it's so cute. Like they have little top hats. Look at the top hats and they're riding bikes and it's just so adorable. Okay. So that's oh I think I just got lipstick on the shirt. The next clothing item that I found was only four dollars. People hate on thrift stores so much because they're like secondhand clothing and that's disgusting but like if I can get a pair of leggings for four dollars instead of the twenty dollars they are originally a girl gonna jump on that shit. It's called laundry for a reason like just throw it in the laundry bleach it a little bit you're good to go okay you got a brand new pair of leggings. The leggings that I found are these bright ass floral 
pink leggings and I am obsessed with them. They are so comfortable. They're from the Old Navy line, which personally, I freaking love Old Navy. I think that their leggings and workout clothing are so comfortable and I just love bright colors. So anytime I can get super funky leggings like this, I jump on them. And the fact that it was only $4 makes them so much better. Okay, the next thing I'm going to talk about is a movie. I'm sure a lot of you can call what I'm gonna say, but it is to all the boys I've loved before. The movie came out on Netflix this month and I freaking loved it. It was the cutest thing ever. I know that the sequel movie is being filmed or talk about it being filmed is happening. I personally only read the first book in the series, so your girl definitely has to try to find copies of the second book so that she can read it before the movie comes out. But I just thought it was the cutest thing ever. I really enjoyed it. I watched it with my mom who did not enjoy it as much as I did but she's not really a rom-com kind of person but I thought it was adorable so highly recommend if you haven't watched it but the fact that you're watching a booktube uh, video you probably have seen To All The Boys I've Loved Before. And now I'm going to talk about two things that I loved this month. I got another Funko Pop because we know your girl has an obsession with Funko Pops. But I got the Christopher Robin version of Winnie the Pooh. I think he is the cutest thing ever. I haven't seen the movie just because I'm so nostalgic about Winnie the Pooh being like a cartoon and seeing them like real life action kind of creeps me out to be honest, but I couldn't resist how cute he was, so I needed him in my life. And then the next item that I have been loving this month is actually the lip product that I'm wearing. I got it off of Wish. It's from the Folklore brand, but it's called Del Rio, but I've been loving this lately. I just think it's such a pretty color. A lot of people refuse to buy makeup off of Wish because they're like scared of it. Personally, every lip product I've gotten, I've ended up loving so I'm not opposed to it but I just think it's a super pretty color and it stays on all day there's no smudging and it's just like really easy to apply it's like a little crayon look I'm a beauty guru it's not gonna focus my camera does not focus I'm pretty sure it was only like two dollars as well so I'd rather pay two dollars and wait two months for it to come in then go to the store buy the same thing for ten dollars your girl's cheap we should all know this by now and then the final thing i have to talk about is a food product because we all know i always have to talk about something food related because your girl loves herself some food but i found these in the grocery store totally on a whim i picked them up because the flavor sounded good. They are Ritz crisp and thins in cheese and onion flavor. I love cheese and I love onions so together I was just like, I need this in my life. And they are so freaking delicious. They're like these little chips. I don't know if they're fried, baked, I don't know, but whatever they do to them, whatever seasoning they put on them, just, mm, I love them so much. So highly recommend Ritz Crisp and Thins cheese and onion flavor. Apparently they're half less fat than the leading regular fried potato chips. Oh, so they're probably baked. Potato and wheat chips, but you also buy them. They're good. Alright guys, so that was my super rambly and quick August favorites video. I know I didn't really explain my feelings very well, but I'm trying to speed film this before I go to work today. Let me know down below a couple of your favorites for the month of August, and I will see you all in my next video. Goodbye!